Okay. Um, today, yeah, we will cover uh, two chapters, chapter one and chapter two. Uh, two chapters, but not very long. So don't worry about it, that long uh, class. Um, Now, can you see our Moodle shell? Yep. Okay. Um, in Moodle, uh, you can find lecture notes for uh, every class. I will uh, post lecture notes and other uh, materials uh, you need. So if you can um, find this file, lecture notes, then uh, you may print out. Um, I try to uh, post materials uh, at least one day earlier. So before you come to class, uh, prepare yourself, uh, maybe a print out, and maybe just in, uh, if we, uh, you use uh, two uh, screens, then one uh, screen I uh, use an lecture note, uh, maybe uh, the other screen uh, watch uh, lecture. Okay, change. Okay, first chapter one. Uh, it's kind of an introductory uh, part. Uh, what uh, operations management concept? So first, operations management. Um, two words combine: uh, operations and management. I think you already uh, took. Um, principles of management or introductory uh, management. So I think you know what is uh, management. So first to define uh, what management is. Uh, this definition from uh, other um, management uh, textbook. Management is the attainment of organizational goals in an effective and efficient manner. Okay. To achieve goals, do something in effective and uh, eff efficient manner. That is the management. Okay. Let me ask you uh, if you can uh, turn on uh, your uh, uh, mic, uh, the, the sounds, and then uh, uh, answer me. Okay, why they do uh, business? Uh, that means uh, my uh, asking is what what is what uh, what is the organizational core. Why they do make something? Why they do uh, sell something like that? What can be a uh, goal of an organization? If there is no volunteer, then I will <laughs> pick. Uh, let me see who can uh, answer. Uh, Rachel, I picked you. Uh... Hello? Yeah, I can uh, hear you. Okay. Because I know uh, you're a sister. Oh, really, Alyssa? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, your sister uh, took my uh, courses earlier. Oh, really? And uh, she mentioned you. Oh. <laughs> 
So uh, uh, can you uh, just uh, whatever uh, answer? Um, um, what can be the organizational goal? Um, to run a f Ooh, um to run efficiently, like having mm -hmm. all, all employees like work together as a team. Mm hmm. Mm, good, good answer, but uh, I'll, okay. Uh, I will uh, give you an answer. Ultimately, they do business to make money, right? Yeah. Try to uh, make more money. So sell something and then uh, make money, uh, produce something to make money or uh, increase profit, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Others, what do you think? Um, if they're selling a product, they could possibly against competitors create like the best product and have mm -hmm. a goal to sell a certain amount of product. Mm -hmm. So uh, to make the best product, what they should do? Get the right materials, look at okay, good. competition to see mm -hmm. what they're doing. Good. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, Emily answered like, uh, mm, to make a better, uh, best product, uh, use a, a better material, uh, maybe uh, uh, like uh, Rachel said, uh, human resource better uh, employ and so on like that. So that means like uh, to uh, make uh, uh, more money, uh, better products, uh, they should do something effective and efficient manner. Okay, now let's define uh, what efficiency is. It says doing something at the lowest possible cost. Lowest possible cost. So another question like that, uh, how a company improve uh, its efficiency? Answer is, if they can do something, produce on sale at lowest possible cost, cut the cost, make something uh, cheaper, then the company's efficiency improve. So, okay, next one, effectiveness, doing the right things to create the most value for the company. Now, another uh, question, what is value? Um, values worth something worth like yeah good answer worth money worth right some uh, some uh, people uh, like at, uh, I like that at, uh, but at, uh, if it is uh, too expensive then I don't buy if uh, something right price oh yeah I will buy money worth. So I will give you an example. Okay, if you need a car, so uh, go to the dealer and then uh, you uh, look at, uh, I like this car, Toyota uh, Rev4. This one is all the uh, old one. But uh, let's say it is uh, new, new. Then uh, what uh, dealer A sell this car at $25,000. Uh, dealer B sell this the, the same, the same option, uh, same uh, whatever, whatever, identical. $23,000. If you need one, then which one you will buy, A or B? B. 
is the only reasonable one. Yeah, good answer. That is not <laughs> what I want. Okay, but now change car like this. Benz. Uh, I think this one is uh, GLA uh, GLA model. Looks good. Now, which one you will buy? Uh, Germ uh, Germ Meyer. Which one you will buy? I'd probably go with A now, even though it's yes. more expensive. Thank you. So this is value. This is value. If I will use a pen. If we say uh, this one's A and B identical, so uh, give it like a uh, um, uh, this is kind of a qualitative but a measure uh, as in the qu uh, quantitative, then this one's a quantity. Uh, mm, like a, a product uh, quality. Then uh, let's say uh, this one is uh, 30,000 value. Uh, I mean, uh, 30,000 uh, mm, product quality or something. And this one also the same because uh, we said uh, identical. Then, Three thousand, the thirty thousand uh, divided by twenty-five thousand. This one, uh, thirty thousand divided by twenty-three thousand. I don't have a calculator, but uh, no, no. this right. This is a value, but we change cars and uh, change car. Yes, then money worth change. Now, this one's quality increased to like 50,000. Then 50,000 divided by 25,000. Then now, this one is now bigger than this one. So, Jeremiah said uh, he will buy this one, right? Money worth. That is value, uh, let me clean, clear and change. So value is quality over price, quality over price. So if the same quality, Like uh, use another name uh, to make it simple. Ace quality is 100. And then B's quality is the same, 100. Then price is like you know, 100. And then price is you know, 50. Then equals one equals two because this one's value is no bigger, so take B. That is no value. Okay, now, question again. To improve effectiveness, they should improve, improve value, right? To improve effectiveness. So question is, how can we improve value? Quality improve or price decrease? 
So to improve effectiveness, we should improve quality, make a better product, or decrease price, make it cheaper. So again, uh, go back to efficiency. To improve efficiency, if we cut the cost or price, then efficiency improve. If we can uh, improve quality or decrease price or cost, then we can improve effectiveness. So to achieve or attain organization, organizational goal, like make more money, we should lower cost, improve, increase quality, or decrease cost. So I can say, uh, first class, I uh, briefly uh, mentioned about the operations management. Then uh, I said, make it better, cheaper, faster, right? So to improve efficiency, make it cheaper, make it cheaper to improve if effectiveness, make it better or make it cheaper. And then one more thing, one more thing, like uh, delivery system. When we send uh, something or uh, receive something, we use, maybe uh, we can use uh, USPS. UPS, FedEx, and so on. If their price are the same, but FedEx uh, one day, UPS two days, uh, USPS uh, three days like that, which one you will take? FedEx, right? Because the same price, but faster. So I say to achieve, to achieve organizational goal, such as make uh, more money, the company should make it better, cheaper, faster. Okay. Mm. Next. Now, define what operations is. Operations is transformation process. Transformation process using resources to convert inputs into some desired output. So transformation, transformation process, three parts, input, output, and process itself. There are three parts, input, process itself, and output. That is operations. And then operation systems and input. Input part, when we say input and then primary input, materials. If it is a car or automobile company, then the company need uh, such a rubber, uh, iron, maybe a uh, plastic and so on like that. And then personnel, workers, and money, and then utilities, such as machine, uh, equipment, and so on. So use primary resources 
And also we can say a uh, secondary resource, maybe external input such as a re, uh, legal uh, environment, economic condition, social condition, and technological conditions, and also uh, market condition, competitions, and customer desired, uh, customer needs, taste, and then uh, product information, other product information, and so on. So using all resources as input, then types of operation system process itself types of the operations systems physical operation system manufacturing example is manufacturing such as an automobile company, make something a uh, product, and then location operations system. Example is transport uh, transportation companies, like a trucking company and so on. And then exchange, retail, such as Walmart, such as uh, retail stores and storage uh, system, warehouse, physiological, like a healthcare, a clinic, hospital, and so on, and informational system, telecommunication system, and also uh, like a website and so on. So they are types of operations system uh, process itself and then output. There are two types, direct and indirect. Direct, two types of, if it is in a product system, output is tangible. There is a shape that we can touch. And then uh, if it is service system, output usually intangible. So go back to types of operations system. Physical operations system, manufacturing. Output, usually tangible. Then others, location, exchange, storage, physiological and informational system, their output, usually intangible. So they are service operations system. And then this one is product or manufacturing operations system. And then in ten, uh, indirect output, something uh, uh, waste pollution uh, by doing something uh, technical uh, advance and so on. So, so far, we define what is management and then what is operations. So combine two words, operations management. Oh, before that, that uh, example of operations and in, uh, input, output, and so on. Okay. This one is not in uh, your uh, lecture note, but uh, just to show you uh, example of operations, uh, input itself, the process itself, and an output. Hospital, input patient, and uh, facility, equipment, nurse, and, uh, doctors, and so on, they are input. And then healthcare, like a uh, test, uh, surgery and so on itself, the no, process itself, and then output, healthy uh, individual, restaurant, hungry customer, and then food, uh, restaurant itself, the table, serving, and so on. Then 
uh, preparing uh, um, food, and then uh, serve, and then eating, and then output, satisfied uh, customer. How about uh, this, uh, our uh, college and uh, university system? Um, you and I, student, teacher, and then uh, if it is in, uh, in class, then a classroom, a table, a seat, and so on. And then the uh, process is uh, teaching and learning. And then output. What do you think, output? Maybe knowledge, learning. And then ultimately grade, right? And then uh, how about, uh, mm, not here. Um, airline system, transportation system, uh, passenger, crew, airplane, and so on, and then flying, and then output is kind of uh, location change. So location change is an intangible output. So uh, from here, the same automobile uh, factory system output is tangible and then others intangible. So service system, uh, this one is a product or manufacturing operation system. And this one uh, service, service and so on. So this is a kind of a, a, a example of operation systems input process itself and then output. So now uh, define what operations management is. From textbook, the set of activities that create value. Now you know value. Um, quality over price in the form of goods and services. If output is tangible goods or product, output is the intangible services. By transforming input into outputs. This one is the, just the definition of like operations. Uh, create value, uh, improved value. So uh, by managing activities, improve the uh, value, make better or uh, make it che uh, cheaper. The design operation and improvement of the system improve how? Better, cheaper, faster of the system that create and deliver the firm's primary product and services. Another one, the management of an organization's productive, productive resources or its production and delivery system. The same story. And then uh, operations management class, that is the study of concepts, procedures, and technologies used by managers, administrators, and employees in the operation of our organization. So we will talk about during the, uh, this semester, concepts, procedures, and technologies to make it better, cheaper, uh, make it better, cheaper, faster. And then uh, this one is not in your uh, lecture notes. I made myself. 
what operations management. My definition, operations management is an effort to make better, cheaper, faster in all production and service activities to achieve organizational goals, such as make more money. This is my uh, definition of operations management. To make it better, cheaper, faster, to achieve organizational goal. You know what? Uh, maybe somebody ask you, uh, what is your uh, major than uh, then uh, you answer is uh, business or management. And uh, if uh, somebody uh, interested in uh, taking uh, operations management, then uh, did you take uh, operations management? Uh, then you say, oh, yes, later. Then they ask, what is what uh, what uh, operations management is? You may answer with this one. Conceptually, uh, uh, keep in mind what uh, operations management is. Make it better, cheaper, faster. That's it. So later on, uh, when uh, after you graduate, then uh, if you uh, get a job and then uh, at your work, if you can find something like a, a method or a concept and then whatever, make it uh, your company's product better, cheaper, faster. That is operations management, okay? Okay, any questions so far? Okay, that's all for chapter one. And then uh, one more chapter. Okay, today, uh, 24 attend. Is it right? Yeah. On screen, uh, including me, uh, 25. So uh, uh, 24. Uh, attend i don't uh, uh, keep uh, your name but uh, uh, last class i said uh, nine of you uh, uh, submitted uh, the attendance whatever form then means uh, take uh, this class as online Okay, except uh, if you um, take this one uh, uh, online, if we go back to uh, in class, how many of you uh, will attend in person, face to face? Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, Whoa. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, good, thank you. 14. Uh, I'm not sure uh, because I didn't uh, check uh, the classroom capacity. Uh, the classroom uh, assigned, that is uh, uh, McGon Hall uh, 2001. Earlier uh, when it was no more semester, I remember uh, about 25 sis. Then uh, maybe now, 
uh, half capacity. So maybe in the 12, 13 something uh, capacity now. Uh, well, uh, by the way, uh, I'm thinking about, you know, uh, uh, this morning I re uh, we received an email uh, from a school, uh, uh, human resource. Um, now uh, uh, they uh, extend that uh, remote remote uh, work environment uh, until uh, um, February uh, end of Febu February, and then uh, this time still uh, you know. Uh, uh, the positive uh, cases still uh, a lot. So uh, mm, I think that if you agree, then uh, two more weeks uh, online only. Is it okay? Okay, thank you. Then. Uh, I yeah. don't know if you can see everyone on the screen, but there's actually 29 students on here right now. No? Yeah, at the bottom it says participants 30, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can Just see number. You know. uh -huh. I made this one as the full screen, but uh, I count, oh, uh, yeah. Maybe, uh, let me see. I make it now full screen, but I want to five, five. I can see only uh, 25 now, but the number is not 30, including me, so uh, 29. Okay. Okay, I figure out uh, later how can I see all of you. Maybe uh, uh, there is uh, something uh, set up, then can see all of you. Yeah, anyway, oh, good. Thank you for uh, uh, letting me know uh, the number of uh, students that participate now. Okay, um, so anyway, I will think about it then, and then uh, Wednesday, uh, I will ask you again, then uh, decide if we uh, uh, go back to or uh, stay online a couple of uh, more weeks like that. Uh, I will uh, look at the number of the, the positive case in uh, Pennsylvania, still uh, like, in, uh, you know, uh, uh, 700, 800 like that. So, uh, you know, uh, safety uh, first, right? Okay. Okay. Let's uh, go to next chapter. Ah, by the way, uh, one more thing. Okay. Mm. Ten strategic operations management uh, decisions. This one is not in your lecture notes. I posted. So if you can uh, just uh, write down. So uh, during uh, with uh, this operations management, uh, they should decide to uh, decide the ten uh, basic uh, strategic decisions to make it better, cheaper, faster. So they should uh, decide uh, design of goods and services, uh, quality, how can they make better quality and process capacity, uh, location. How can uh, decide location to make it better, cheaper, faster and lay out human resource. Actually, uh, human resource is not uh, our part, but uh, maybe uh, this one include, but uh, we will uh, cover this part in operations management. And supply chain, 
inventory, how to manage inventory to make it better, cheaper, faster, and then how uh, schedule better, and then maintenance. So they are 10 strategic operations management decisions. And then during uh, this semester, we will cover one by one. How can we make a better, cheaper, faster uh, with uh, uh, design thing and so on? Um, you know, uh, I said earlier, uh, I will not give you an assignment. Uh, instead, uh, let you take a uh, quiz to uh, engage you and then encourage you. But I made something uh, like a, a pop of things. I made, uh, go back to, now you can uh, see uh, the model, right? So I made a uh, pop-up assignment. Uh, only one question, only one question. Um, the proposal uh, make this one is uh, uh, because now we cannot uh, check attendance because in the last uh, week I said uh, three types of the modality uh, in class, face-to-face, uh, uh, -face, remote and online different. So uh, I, we cannot uh, check attendance uh, regularly. But then uh, I make this one, just in the, uh, encourage you to uh, attend. But only one question. Maybe uh, you need uh, less than five minutes to do this. Uh, this one, uh, public assignment, not regularly, uh, sometimes if I need, uh, then I will make it, okay? But it's not uh, like a uh, big one, uh, just in a very uh, um, casual. So, uh, and then uh, due day, uh, due is uh, Saturday night. So I will give you uh, time. Is this instead of or in addition to the quizzes? This one is uh, um, kind of audition. Kind of audition, okay. yeah. So uh, not like in the uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, not in uh, you know what uh, the uh, syllabus, but uh, I just make it like audition and then uh, extra. But uh, this one uh, will include in uh, your quiz and uh, assignment uh, portion, okay? But not much, not much. Okay. Okay, next uh, chapter two uh, about uh, strategy. Mm. First, uh, let me uh, ask you, uh, maybe some of you uh, to uh, strategic management, uh, Dr. Law, maybe cover, uh, she covered this uh, uh, strategic management. Who took uh, uh, strategic management earlier already? No? I'm taking okay. it now, so. Yeah, okay. What is a strategy? Just in the, Briefly, what is the strategy? 
kind of just like a specific way of um, performing a task. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, right. Plan, right? Plan. Um, like, uh, you know, uh, if I go to uh, somewhere, uh, let's say, uh, 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 let's, let's go to uh, Manhattan. Then how can uh, we go uh, Manhattan? Maybe uh, we can use our uh, car, drive myself. Maybe taking a bus, maybe taking uh, somewhere and then a uh, train and so on. So how to get there, plan. And then if we decide, uh, use my car, drive myself, then uh, we may use uh, uh, GPS and navigation. Then it gives you a way like take the 80, 81 and so on. Then after that, uh, based on the uh, traffic, uh, it gives you direction and so on. Then in terms of uh, how fast uh, time is matter than uh, faster route. Uh, if it is like uh, uh, less uh, traffic or distance, whatever the uh, rule. So plan how to get there. So. For the company, if there is goal, then how to get there? That is plan. Plan is strategy. Okay, let's say, goal is mission or goal of a company. Uh, this one was an uh, actual uh, a company's uh, mission and goal. Being a leader uh, in the, the industry. Being a leader in the in industry this one is goal and uh, mission of a company. So this is kind of destination, how to get there. So the company choose quality. So make the, the best quality in the industry. So to make best quality, how use like uh, we will talk about uh, later TQM total quality management and six sigma quality control and then to support those they use like a JIT and such and such and such and, uh, technologies or concepts. So to get there using quality and then TQM and then JIT and so on like that. More spe uh, specific. So they are strategy to get there. So this is like a corporate wide, corporate wide plan that is in a corporate strategy. And then lower level, we call operations strategy. And then maybe tools or uh, uh, tactics and so on. So to get there, we need a plan. They are strategies and then uh, uh, what levels, then we call corporate strategy 
operations strategy and so on. If a company has only one uh, business division, corporate wide strategy is corporate strategy. If they have multiple business divisions, each division has own uh, strategy, we call that business strategy. So that is a strategy. Just a moment and let's go and define operations strategy. What, it, what operations strategy? Setting broad policies and plans for using the resources of a firm to best support the firm's long-term corporate uh, competitive strategy. Long-term competitive strategy. Operations strategy is mid-term or short-term strategy, not long-term. Long-term strategy is corporate strategy. So operations strategy support corporate strategy. Specify how operations managers will achieve long-term goal being a leader in the industry within the framework of the corporate strategy. Earlier, I example, corporate strategy, long-term strategy is uh, making best product quality to support long-term corporate strategy, use operations strategy, TQM, uh, Six Sigma quality control concept and so on. So that is operations strategy. And then uh, comparative dimensions, how we can make better, cheaper, faster, uh, achieve long-term goal, cost, of course, cheaper, quality, better, speed, faster. Delivery reliability. If it is uh, nowadays, because it is pandemic, so uh, I don't want to go on uh, market uh, physically. So uh, using online uh, order. So I ordered a uh, can of uh, fruits. And then uh, I received, and then a can is in the uh, ton and uh, something uh, not good. So if it is delivered in a system, that reliability is quality, right? So better. Ability of coping with the changes. You know, economic condition and uh, market condition change, maybe the cost, uh, customers, the demand or uh, taste the change. How deal with the change faster, right? Flexibility, move fast, faster support, maybe that also quality. So everything, if a company can make better, cheaper, faster, then they can achieve, achieve goal. The co operations competitive dimensions, just to remind, make it better, cheaper, faster, whatever. Next, order qualifiers and order winners or winner. Definition, dimensions, that are used to uh, screen a product or service as a candidate for purchase, order winner, a dimension that differentiates dimensions or dimension, 
uh, differentiate the product or service of one form from another. Uh, what is this? Let me ask you, um, if I want to buy a television set, so recommend me, what should I look at? If I go on uh, Best Buy or uh, using online, what should I uh, look at like uh, considerations? If I decide to buy um, now the uh, the popular size of the television is um, size and technology is the LED. Ex expensive one is like OLED, QLED, whatever. But uh, I just um, LED, regular uh, general LED, television and size is uh, uh, now I have a uh, 50 inch, but uh, I want to uh, get a bigger one, uh, 65. So what 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 uh, should I look at? Cost. Cost, good, okay. Like price. Just uh, look at the uh, price and then the uh, cheapest one to uh, take. Maybe uh, picture, picture quality. Warranty. Yeah, warranty. Uh, Picture Brand. quality and then warranty and what else? Maybe availability, like you can get it that day. Um, later availability is later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so first, uh, we decide whatever. Then, uh, if it is available, uh, we check, right? So uh, <clears throat> before uh, check availability. Uh, we should uh, decide what the product, right? What companies, what the product. Yes, say again, somebody. Uh, yeah, I said brand. Brand, none yet. The features available. Uh, feature like uh, uh, internet of, uh, availability and something like that, right? Feature. And then uh, what else? Uh, maybe design, uh, like a uh, frame design technology. So uh, design. And then maybe color. And uh, what else? Such and such. So, among them, look at those, and then uh, we narrow down like a Samsung, LG. You know, uh, uh, I'm I'm from Korea, and then those in you know, the Samsung and LG in you know, uh, Korean brand. Not because of the you know, Korean. Nowadays, uh, Samsung and LG are uh, kind of top brand, right? Uh, in the uh, television uh, industry. And then earlier, uh, Sony was the uh, top brand, but now uh, slow down now. So among them, and then um, maybe uh, um, other uh, not brand, was that uh, Philips? Lips. So among them, this one is uh, this one is uh, my earlier experience. I look at uh, all uh, uh, dimensions uh, or uh, considerations. 
I thought uh, others, uh, because you know, they uh, mm, like uh, there is trend. So uh, uh, sometimes in a black uh, frame uh, trend and the, the silver color or design things and so on. So at that time, I look at the, the LG, the Samsung, and so on. Then not everything are similar, but Philips cheapest. So I took this one. So I bought Philips. So here, order qualifiers. Dimension usually a plural are used to screen a product or service as candidate. So using price, picture quality, warranty, uh, features, design thing, color things, use those dimensions to narrow down those. So they are order qualifiers. And then order winner, maybe a singular and maybe a plural. If I use only one, then a single, differentiates the product service of a form from another or others. So my case, price, I use price to pick Philips. So my case, order winner is only one price. So order qualifiers, I use those to narrow down to candidate. So they are order qualifiers. Order winner, my case, in my case, price. Why we uh, need this order qualifiers and order winners. That is a uh, customer's taste. So if we know, we know customer's taste, then, then if we can make to match their taste, their expectation, then our product is like a better quality and then low price and so on like that. So we should uh, consider order qualifiers and the winners. Okay, uh, now uh, five or three, I said uh, my class is about uh, uh, an hour. Three minutes more, okay? Productivity, a common measure of how well a country, industry, or business company unit is using its resources. Uh, productivity, quantity of products or service produced, like output, and divided by amount of resources used input there are three types partial measure productivity multi-factor measure productivity total measure productivity first partial measure productivity if we use only one uh, factor for uh, input denominator. Another name of this partial measure productivity is single factor, single factor measure productivity. Because you use only one single factor as input. 
So if we use labor hour or labor cost, then we call this labor productivity, capital productivity, material, such net material, uh, single material, productivity, and so on. Multi-factor measure productivity, use multi-factor as denominator inputs. And then total measure productivity, total output divided by total input. So when uh, we uh, say productivity, usually we use this output over input. If output is same level, like uh, 100, 100, input use less input like a 50, but this one use 100, then this one is better productivity. If we use the same level of input, but this one make 100, this one 200, better productivity like this. So, when we uh, measure um, companies productivity higher, the better, right? So try to make it more output using the same level of input or the same uh, output using less input to improve productivity. So when we uh, decide which company's productivity is better, then higher the better. Okay, that's all I think. But I mentioned earlier, pop up assignment one. Just one uh, writing uh, answer question on Moodle. Just click Moodle, uh, uh, the, the assignment and then uh, write, answer, and that's it. Due is uh, midnight on Saturday, January 30. Okay, any question? Okay, if we don't have a question, then uh, that's it. And then uh, on Wednesday, we will uh, cover chapter three. Uh, you may need a uh, calculator because it is in the uh, uh, quantitative part. Uh, any uh, uh, like a basic uh, calculator is okay. Uh, maybe you can use the, uh, your cell phone calculator uh, function. Okay, that's it. And see you Wednesday. Bye. Take care. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.